morning. Thanks for tuning in to Narcology Unscripted. This is Dave. Today's subject is going to be how the transitional supply helped discard you. Guys, please take a second, like, and subscribe, and then comment down below if you agree with this take or you don't. Grab your coffee or your tea. Cheers around the world. Thanks for sitting in to the Narcology Morning Show. Well, guys, First of all, keep in mind, they have a people addiction. So in order to leave anybody, they need someone into place. If they have NPD, they're not just going to leave you. They need someone in place because keep in mind, they're on a loop and they don't want to be discarded. They want to beat you to the punch. They have that internal clock going constantly. Are they putting up with the baloney? Are they getting tired of me? Are they, they know that they're on a loop. They know what the signs to look for. And when they see these signs, they start conditioning um, your backup. They start looking for that. They want that viable grade A supply empathic person. That is their number one, number one goal for a, like a long-term relationship. But what, what happens is, a lot of the cases, they made a mistake. They got with another narcissist wearing a mask. It happens all the time. If you think about the harem garage with a narcissist, they are stuffed to the rafters with other narcissists and codependents. They come out of the same house of abuse. So both codependents and narcissists need exterior sources to validate them, okay? They both somewhat have a people addiction, especially narcissists. And so I call these transitional, transitional fuel sources, guys. And they, they need these individuals because of the fact that narcissism is so prevalent and that their counterpart, their new supply could be playing them as well, wearing a mask. And so if that's the case, right away, they're gonna move out from the new supply. They've already burned a bridge with you. They need time for that toxic the, from the last video, that air to, to neutralize. It's really toxic with you. They just burned a bridge with not just you, but your whole family and your whole lifestyle, all your friends and stuff, okay? So who are the transitional? Who's the transitional supply? Well, most of the time it's the baby mama, and I'm just using a male narcissist as an example. Both genders can be narcissists. But uh, most of the time, most of the time, the, the transitional uh, narcissist waiting in the, in, in the harem garage is another narcissist because of how easily they can access them. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter who they're with. They're going to take full advantage of any opportunity to get extra supply, fuel sources. Um, it doesn't matter if they're in a relationship. It does not matter. They're gonna call on that other narcissist to come and be there. They hate each other. In fact, you can remember say, um, hearing how much they disdain each other and they treat each other like crap, but it seems like if you can look back on your relationship, them saying that, yeah, that person helped me. <laughs> that person helped me move in here. That person helped me move in there. And you're starting to realize that the baby mama is always in the picture when things don't go well with their relationship. Well, that's not going to change with you. And guys, typically they don't tell the transitional supply that they're grooming an empath as your backup. And it's hard. Sometimes it's hard for, for the, uh, the narcissist to balance all of this because they have to somewhat burn a bridge between the parent because and the, and the child, because there are bonds being formed between you and their kids. And so they have to go to the baby mama, the, the uh, transitional supply to start smearing you to them as well, because they're gonna want answers of why you guys are breaking up, especially if, uh, if they need the transitional supply to future fake with them to, to have that moral support and money uh, finance to help them move into wherever they want to move in. So they're going to keep, I hope this is making sense. They're going to keep the new supply hidden f 
from everybody, including the transitional supply, okay? They're leaving you because they're afraid you're finding out. They're on that loop. They're, they're seeing signs in you that you're not going to be able to put up with too much more. They've gotten the thumbs up from the new supply. The new supply says, yes, I'm, I'm all in. They're still not going to tell the transitional supply. They're still future faking a little bit with, well, let's just call them transition, okay? With the transition. They want to know if they've made a mistake or not. So as soon as they're, they're all good with the, let's say they're not moving in with the new supply, but the new supply needs a little bit more time before they can move in. They're still going to keep the transitional supply waiting in the wings, just in case. And so there's a balancing act always with a narcissist. If you guys can remember being a step parent, nine times out of 10, there was a baby mama or daddy nearby. It doesn't matter. They're going to it doesn't matter if they say they can't stand them. That does not matter. They can call on this person at the drop of a hat. And what you think is disdain, really, narcissists are congruent. They, they hate everybody, even you. Keep that in mind. But they need fuel. So they know that they can call on the, the, the one that they keep saying that they hate in front of you. That person, every time you fight, in fact, every time you fought, there were feelers being put out with the transitional supply of maybe a hookup soon. It happened all throughout your relationship. You just don't know it. And so the importance of a transitional supply is huge, especially if they get with another narcissist. I can't stress enough how you need to work on those inner wounds. So you're not one of those ones waiting in the garage because all they're going to use you for as is a codependent is a transitional fuel source they're going to come future fake with you sleep with you and they could very well say that that person didn't work out you are the love of my life but you don't even know they're grooming a new supply they're just biding their time with you this is how greedy they are they, a discard involves not just you and the new supply, it involves kids, it involves other fuel sources as well. And keep in mind, you, you, will, you will notice that not only uh, do they seem happy with the new supply, all of a sudden the baby mama is really upset with them. That's why. Because the baby mama's like, are you kidding me? And even if they're in a relationship, they're greedy. These narcissists are greedy with fuel sources and they don't like to be played. They wanna be the players. They never wanna feel out of control or, or vulnerable in any way. So you'll see them with the new supply and then you'll see all of a sudden them happy and, and the, new, the transition supply is all of a sudden is in their life and then all of a sudden you see a disdainment with the, with the same person, with the same baby mama because they're using they just use everybody as their stepping stones. They don't have guilt or remorse. They don't feel bad about what they're doing, guys. So it's very, it's very important that you get out of that garage. If you're waiting for a Hoover, um, you, you're just you're you're telling yourself and everybody around you that um, you're gonna be you're gonna wait for a transition. You're gonna wait for them to break up with the new supply so you can get your validation. And they're going to use and abuse you. That's why Hoovers don't really last that long, guys. Hoovers really don't. So we're smarter than that. We're getting the knowledge. And I just needed to get that off my chest because in the pain phase, if you're discarded, you go through that phase. It's not your fault. You go through the same phase of what just happened. I'm not getting validation even. Any, nothing that I did meant anything to this person. I need to. I need to hear that I that I was worth something in this relationship, you're not gonna get that. And so a lot of people hang out in that garage waiting for normalcy to come around. Normalcy will never be around at this point because you are never dealing, even in the love bomb phase, you are never dealing with someone normal. I know that's a hard pill to swallow, but you have the information now. Drive out 
of that transition garage, Mrs. B, and uh, get on that narrow path. You're gonna start being Mrs. A, you're gonna go no contact. You're never gonna talk to this person again because this is what they're about. They do this to human beings like it's nothing, okay? Vow wedding vows do not matter to these people. All right, let's get to the new question of the day. But first, if you want to join the SEAL team, just hit the link underneath the video. It's a good place to, it's a great community. It's a good place to heal. New question is, who, who found out that there was a transitional supply, a baby mama, baby daddy, also waiting in the wings, who were also betrayed by the narcissist, transitioning to the new supply? Comment down below. A lot of, a lot of people are going to be like, I get this now. I get this. Guys. They're, once you get it, once you get it, they're simple and they don't change. And so that's why you have to go and see no contact. You guys be blessed. It's Friday. Have a great weekend. I might do another video this weekend, but I'm not sure. But uh, you guys be blessed and just have a great weekend. Be blessed, guys.